everyone, I'm Hebe and welcome back to my channel and welcome to my new subscribers as well. Thank you for subscribing and watching. That means a great deal for me and I really do appreciate it. Thank you so much. Okay, well let's get to this. I wanted to film this a video here. I'm not wearing any makeup because something came in the mail yesterday and I was really excited to get it. It is by Best Made Cosmetics and it is their Snow White palettes. And here they are right here. Here's what it comes in. Isn't that pretty? <laughs> there it is. Okay, now you can see it. I did a video on the Snow White lipsticks. They did a Snow White collection, the Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs collection, to celebrate the 80th anniversary of its first release. It was released in theaters in December of 1937. And even though we're 19, even though we're in 2018, they're still you know, bringing new products out. They did bring out the lipsticks, like I said, and I have that video and I'll link that down below. I love everything about Disney. I mean, I'm wearing one of my mini shirts right now of Mickey Mouse. And this year, Mickey Mouse will be turning 90 years old. And how I know this is because Mickey Mouse and I, we share the same birthday. Not the same year, but the same birthday, November 18th. And Mickey Mouse... Yes, he'll be turning 90, and it started out, you know, again on our birthday, November 18th, with the very first cartoon, the Steamboat Really episode. It's a black and white cartoon, and like what Mr. Walt Disney himself has said, it all started with the mouse. Okay, let's get right to it. Again, this is the Keep Singing palette. You open it up, and you see Snow White. Okay, and on the back... It shows the colors, it's, it has eight colors. And let me turn it around so you can see the front closer. And you open it up and there is Snow White. All right, let's see what the colors look in this one. And I'm gonna be playing around with it and maybe pop some of those videos in this one. You know, to give it like, uh, let's try it with this color. Let's see how long they last. Oh, look at that. There's the outside case. There it is right there. And it's really good, you know, plastic case. It's really pretty. Oh, I don't want to get my fingerprints on it. And the back, it just says Disney, Disney Snow White, the 1937 collection. Now let's open it up. All right, and it says, it has a mirror and it says, with a smile and a song. And it says here, fill the world with sunshine. There are the colors right there. And I'm going to swatch these for you guys and, and on my arm to let y'all see it. Here, I'll let y'all see the mirror there too. And that's the mirror, I know. <laughs> but y'all have to see it. Ooh, I like the color apple. That's pretty. And forest, once upon a time. I'm going to try blue. I'm going to try blue one of these days. There's a YouTuber friend that I have, um, Angelina from Mosley Doll 78 I'm going to link her channel down below. She's a beautiful, wonderful, sweet, very talented uh, beauty YouTuber. She did a blue eyeshadow on her daughter and it looked beautiful. And I wanted to try the blue and she's kind of encouraging me. So eventually I will. <laughs> but yeah, check her channel out. I'll link her channel again down below. And it's got good transition colors right here. It's got the Huntsman, White as Snow, the Fairest. Destiny, Once Upon a Time, Witch, Forest, and Apple. Oh, and I probably should tell you that it costs $38. I know that is a pricey palette for eight colors, but I guess you're paying for the Disney name and Snow White. And Besame, I really do love their lipsticks. I really do love their lipsticks. It's very pigmented. It's very creamy. And how she started it, watching her grandmother, and she does a lot of vintage colors, which I absolutely love. And I should also mention that when these palettes came in, it does come with a little newspaper, the Bessame Bugle. Probably should have done this first, but I guess I was just so excited opening one palette, but I'll show it to you now. This is the Bessame Bugle. It says makeup with history and you know, it just gives you some tips and a crossword puzzle and where the store is and on the back also 
it tells you, you know, information about how to use her lips, uh, her uh, mascara, which is a cake mascara, which I haven't tried. And it tells all about Gabriella, the, the founder of Besame Cosmetics. And of course, you know, you can color, do some coloring, your favorite decades. Again, because she does vintage colors from the 1920s, 1930s, 1940s, even all the way up to 1970s. Okay, now let's open up the other palette. This one is called the Wishing Palette. And here's what that one looks like. And you open up and there is Snow White in that one. I guess it's a different pose. And then on the back it has the eight colors shaped as apples. Okay, let me read to you what it says here on the flap of the inside of the Wishing Palette. Actually, it also says it on the Keep Singing Palette. It says here, to celebrate the 80th anniversary of Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs, we have collaborated with Disney to create this exclusive collection inspired by the original artwork and color palette of this iconic film. This featured art has been replicated from an original production animation cell used in the making of the film. Now let's open this one. There it is right there. Oh, and it's got the, the Snow White Apple Blossoms and it has Make-A-Wish. Love's First Kiss is written in the middle here. Oh, wow, these are your pinks and blues. There are the colors right there, I hope you can see that. Magic Mirror, I Wish, Kindness, Wishing Well, So Fair, Nice Things, Hoping, and Your Majesty. There are a collection of mattes, and there's a couple of shimmers in here too. All right, let's do a little comparison side by side of these two palettes. So here are the covers of the two palettes here. This is the Keep Singing palette, and this one is the Wishing palette. And the artwork that's on the cover here, they are an exact replica of one of the cells that they used in making of the film. And also these colors here, they are pretty much the colors that they used in, in the movie. Uh, Besame Cosmetics did collaborate with the Walt Disney Art and Paint Department to get, you know, pretty much the same colors that were used in the film. So let me go ahead and swatch these for you. All right, let's start with the singing palette. All right, those are the swatches there of the singing palette. You have Huntsman, White as Snow, The Forest, Destiny, Once Upon a Time, Witch, Forest, and Apple. These two right here, I can't wait to play with these two. And the blue, I'll put the blue in there too somehow. All right, here are the shades from the Wishing Palette. You have Magic Mirror, I Wish, Kindness, Wishing Well, So Fair, Nice Things, Hoping, and Your Majesty. So here are the two palettes together swatched on one arm. The top row is the Keep Singing Palette and the bottom one is the Wishing Palette. All right. Well, let me get playing and I'll be right back. The palette that I'm gonna to use today is the Wishing Palette. And I put tape underneath my eyes because I didn't know if there's gonna be any fallout, so I just wanna try doing my eyes first in this look. First, I'm gonna prime my eyes. So I'm setting my primer with Your Majesty. Then I'm going to go in with Wishing Well for my transition shade. There's not much kick up, which is good. Then I'm going to go with a tapered brush and going into my Wish and just go a little bit below Wishing Well. Take this as a grain of salt. I am not a makeup artist. This is just me having fun with Snow White palette. Let me go in with a flat shader brush. Magic Mirror. Turn my finger. Another flat shader brush, a little bit more elongated brush. And let's go into Kindness. Mm 
and back in blend. Okay, how does that look? Oh, I'm wearing blue eyeshadow. <laughs> okay. I'm going to finish my makeup. I'm going to finish and I'll be right back. Blue eyeshadow. I am wearing blue eyeshadow. Please be nice. Please be nice. <laughs> okay. This is from the Wishing Palette. And I am wearing the lipstick from Besame, the Snow White Collection. And this is in the shade One Bite. And here it is right here. And they describe this as a deep cocoa with a violet mauve undertone. And I did something else different. I put a white eyeliner in the waterline to kind of brighten up my eye. Because I am so used to wearing black. I've been using black in my waterline, on the lash line, everywhere since I was in middle school. Let me get closer. Okay, I will check back. I've had this eyeshadow on for about a good six hours. About a good six hours. And it's a nice eyeshadow palette. Let me zoom in, but you can see the colors. They didn't get muddy. All right, I'll do another look hopefully tomorrow. Going for another look today and I'll be using the Keep Singing palette. And I've got my Disney shirt, another Disney shirt on. Go Mickey. I'm gonna prime my eyelids. I'm gonna use Revlon eyeshadow primer. And I already put foundation on my face. Next, I'm gonna set my primer with White as Snow. Okay, for transition, I'm gonna go with the Fairest. Because it is my skin tone, it's not showing up, so I need to build it up some more. Let's go with Destiny in the crease. Okay, let's go with Forest. Let me use my finger. Okay, let me try spraying my flat shader brush with the rose water to see if there'll be more pigment. Then I'm going back in with Destiny to blend it out. Then I'm going to give it dimension with the color Witch. And I'm going to put that color in the outer corner of the eye. I'm going to go in with the skinnier brush to blend it out. That way I can be precise of where I want to put this color. And then keep blending it out. This is really having a hard time blending. Okay, I'm going to do my eyebrows now and finish up and try to clean it up. Okay, I'll be right back. Okay, this is the finished look from the Keep Singing palette. I used the green one from this one, Forest. And I went ahead with a black eyeliner inside my waterline. Gotta do a black this time. Gotta do a black. And I think it's not so bad. I think this is a pretty green color. I really do think it's pretty. This could be like more of an evening type look. And the lipstick I'm wearing is also from the Snow White collection from Besame, and this one's called Make-A-Wish. They describe it as a coral color with a rose aura. I do have to say that the shade Witch, it did take a long time to blend out. But it worked. It worked. This color right here for the transition, it is more my skin tone, so you really can't see the transition in my eye look, but I think it's gonna work. I mean, what do you think, guys? Let me come in a little closer. Okay, I will go out and see how this eye look holds up. I'm just gonna go with it. Okay. All right, doing a check-in on the green eyeshadow from uh, Snow White. There's my daughter, uh, and she, she, she's visiting us. We're in the mall right by Sephora. Yeah. Yes. Got some stuff. And so did she. <laughs> and then 
there's there's the boy. <laughs> yeah, we call him the boy. He's your boyfriend. <laughs> All right. It's been like a good four hours since I put this on. I'm kind of liking it. I'm really liking it. Even someone from Sephora said it looks nice, so I guess it's good. All right. Going for another look today, and I put tape underneath my eye this time. And of course, let me show you my one of my mini Mickey t-shirts. I love this one. I love this one. And I'm going to be using both palettes today. The Keep Singing palette and the I'm Wishing palette. First, I'm going to prime my eyes. And then set it with the So Fair from the I'm Wishing palette. From the same palette, I'm going to use Wishing Well for my transition color using a fluffy brush. Using the I'm Wishing palette again, I'm going to go into I Wish with a tapered brush. And I'm just going to put that underneath Wishing Well, my transition color. And I'm going to also put some of that on my lid. Now going into the Keep Singing palette, I'm going to go into the shade Apple with a flat sheet of brush. And I'm going to concentrate that color on the outer part of the lid. Again, I'm going to use the Mario Badescu Rose Water to spritz it on my flat sheet of brush to give it a little bit more oomph to the shade. Going back into I Wish to blend it out. Okay, from the I'm Wishing palette, I'm going to go into So Fair and put that on the inner corner of my eyelid. I'm going to try to use my finger and see how that works. Okay, from the Keep Singing palette, I'm going to go into Witch with a very small brush and to put that in the outer corner. Just keep blending, just keep blending. Okay, I'm going to go and finish the rest of my makeup and I'll be back. All right, here's a finished look from using both palettes, the Keep Singing palette and the I'm Wishing palette. And I know I've been saying Wishing palette for this one, but it's called the I'm Wishing palette. My bad. <laughs> and of course, I went with the black eyeliner with this look again today. And the blue eyeshadow look that I did, I believe it was the first one. I like the white eyeliner with that one. That one really did make my eyes pop. And the lipstick I'm wearing is also by Bessemer Cosmetics from the Snow White Collection too. And this is in the shade Snow White Red. Might as well get into the Snow White mood here. They describe it as a subdued neutral red in the cool spectrum. And I also put a little lip gloss on top of that too, just to give a little shine to it. And I do have to say that the shade Apple, it was a little bit hard to blend out. That one was a tough shade to, to use. And let me go ahead and zoom in to let you see my eyes up close. Yeah, it is a little patchy there, isn't it? And there was some fallout in that one. Let me go ahead and zoom you out and we can talk about the palettes. I hope you guys like that of doing like three looks with these palettes. That was really fun. I enjoyed doing that. Here they are again. This is the Keep Singing palette and the I'm Wishing palette. And these are to commemorate the 80th anniversary of Snow White when it was released in, in theaters as the first animated movie. Now let's talk about the packaging. The packaging is really, really nice. It is, I really like the concept of what they did here. You know, they used the exact replica of the original production cells that they used for the movie. I mean, that is really a neat idea. That's a really neat concept right there. And the case itself, it is a really good, you know, really thick plastic, I guess you could say. And when you open it up, it has a really good size mirror in there. I don't want, you know, to see my dirty table. And they really pay attention to detail. You can see that they have like writing on the mirror, like this one with a, with a smile and a song, fill the world with sunshine. And they have animals on the mirror and it's Disney I mean <laughs> but yes I really like the packaging I love the artwork I love the quality of it I love the detail work with it it's really nice it's really nice 
Now let's talk about the shades. There are eight shades in each palette and they are a mixture of shimmers and matte shades. And the colors of the shades, you know, Besame again collaborated with Walt Disney Animation Studios with the ink and paint department to make the exact replica of the shades of the colors that they used in the movie and Besame made eyeshadows with them. I mean, that, that's really cool, at least to me. So again, there are a mixture of mattes and shadows and the matte shades, they blended out very well. There were a couple that needed to be built up and there are some fallout with both the shimmer and the matte. The shimmer shadows, they weren't very shimmery. They didn't have a lot of glitter to them. They just had that touch, that hint of shimmer, which gives it, you know, a really good uh, sheen to them. And I did have to use, you know, the rose water or you could probably use Mac Fix Plus to really give it that oomph color to it, that oomph uh, shimmer to it, especially apple. Apple, I think, was patchy and even spritzing some of the rose water on the brush, it it just kind, kind of sits on top of my lid. It doesn't kind of blend in very well, as you can see. But I really like Forest and I really like uh, Once Upon a Time and Kindness, the blue shades there, the blue shimmery shades. And Witch, which was a hard, hard color also to blend out. That one took a while to blend out. And you may want to do your eyes first because there are fallout with these, with these shades. And in both of these palettes there are one or two, there are probably about three shades that I think are similar. I'm going to put the swatches back up and you can see that the first two shades in each palette, those are similar. And the white shadows also, those are similar too. The blue shadows, they are similar but yet different. One is a little bit more purple than the other one, a little bit deeper. But those are the ones that I think are similar in each palette. At least to me, at least to me. And each palette does cost $38, so you're getting eight shades for $38. And you may want to ask yourself, do you need these palettes or do you want these palettes? Me, I wanted these palettes. When I saw that Besame was, was collaborating with Disney for Snow White, I wanted to get these. So right when they were released, I went online and I purchased this with my own money. I am not sponsored by Besame at all. And, you know, I love Disney. I am a big kid at heart. I am. Yes, there are a few shades that that did require a little bit of work to them, but you know, you kind of have to weigh the pros and the cons. And for me, the pros kind of outweighed the cons because I really like Disney and I just like the idea of, you know, a little collector's item here that has like a replicated production cell on the cover and colors from the movie as shadows. I'm glad I got these palettes and I will be using these palettes. All right, you guys, I hope that this review and the tutorial looks that I did kind of helped, you know, let you see what these palettes could do and to help you decide if you wanted these palettes. And again, I am, an, I am not a makeup artist. I sometimes think I know what I'm talking about, but I don't. <laughs> but it's just makeup is fun and these palettes are fun to me. All right, you guys, thank you so much for watching this video. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button so you can see more videos like this. And you all have a wonderful day, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.